This is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today we're going to be making this adorable card that you can make for a birthday or thank you, whatever occasion you like. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pick out all of your colors. To create this um, fan or umbrella card, you're going to need at least five squares cut to four by four. Now this card was inspired by Tony Art and Craft. I saw her tutorial and I said I have to try this. So I will leave the link to that channel below in the description box. You're also going to need an eight and a half by eleven um, sheet of paper and let me just clear some space here so you can see this. So what you're going to do is you're just going to fold this in half. Just like this. You don't want to get a nice crisp fold. Okay, so you want to make sure this is going to be your base for your card, and you don't have to use white. You can use whatever color you like. And so I'm also going to be using these flowers, and I'll list everything below along with the video on how I make these flowers, but they're so super cute, and I figured I'd make it in this kind of a blush pink and green colors. Um, these flowers, if you haven't seen them before, come from my stamp set from Mindless Crafting. Um, and this is the Spring Blossom stamp set. That's the flower right there. So I'll be using that. So this is my third time doing this card, and I absolutely enjoy making it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have a really strong glue, and I'm recommending the Art Glitter Glue because it works well for paper crafting. I'm also going to be adding some gems to my card too. So some pink gems, I thought that would look really nice. So you can use your, your favorite colors um, to do this. All right, so what you want to do is you want to take these um, square pieces of paper and you want to do the shape of a cone. So let me just make sure I have everything good to go. And so I'm just going to kind of fold this over and then just fold this. You see how that cone is coming into shape? Just like that. And you want to make sure that bottom part is like very pointed. So I'm just kind of pulling at that and shaping that into my cone shape, making sure that I keep that bottom part really pointy. So if you see that, you see how that is right there? Just like that. And sometimes it takes a little bit of finagling to get that the way you want it. And so all I'm going to do now, I'm just going to take this, and I'm using cardstock. So it's pretty sturdy, and so it takes a little bit to kind of bend it. But after a while, you'll get it. Just do not give up. Just keep going. <laughs> so if I can do it, and this is my third try, and I'm feeling comfortable enough to teach this, you can do it too. Okay, so I'm just letting this, giving this a little bit of time to dry. Okay, so that takes a little bit of finagling to get it like that, but it should look, you want that little pointy area at the bottom. Okay, so let me just do this one more time. And if you notice, I'm mixing it up a little bit with dots and stripes. I thought that would be a pretty pattern together. So let me do this stripe one. So just kind of bending to kind of get used to the paper bending like that. Just trying to get it used to bending. Don't worry if it feels awkward. You know, everything feels awkward that first time through. But once you really start to do this, you'll kind of get the hang of it. 
You're just bending it into that cone. See that? And trying to be gentle with it. But it just depends on how heavy your paper is. And the paper I'm using is a 65 pound cardstock. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. And fold that over. And I really want to show you this step just because I know that it might be feel seem like it's a little bit challenging. But after practice, you'll get it. So you're going to need five of these. I think in the other tutorial she only uses four, but I I used five just because I didn't follow the tutorial exact. But so you just make this your own. Okay, so that's what you got so far. So I'm going to go ahead and fold the others and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so once all of your cones are put together, they should look like this. And what you're going to do now is cut off the top so they really look cone-like. So you're just going to go right along here and make sure this kind of lines up. just like that. So you want to cut each of these off. Now this is going to be facing down so the seam doesn't show when you put your card together. We're just going to cut these down and even them out. So you see I'm going to alternate those, the polka dots and the stripes. They're really pretty. Cutting these down. Just like that. So I'm trying to get it as even as possible. So the best way to do it is to measure this up just to make sure. Just like that. So that's what it should look like before you get ready to place it on the card. So the next thing you want to do is glue these together. And I'm going to use my Art Glitter Glue. And I'm going to take this now. And of course I want these alternating. So I'm going to start gluing these together. Right on the sides. Just like this. So you want to give that art glitter glue just a little bit of time to dry together. It's one of the best glues, especially for projects like this. So I want these to really stay together. So you want to kind of glue them while they're down because you're going to be placing them on your card base. Okay, so let's do this one. I'm just going to glue all of these together. So what you're going to do, actually do, you're going to glue four of them together and just hold the side the fifth one just for a moment. And don't do like I did and use too much glue in between here. But the nice thing about Art Glitter Glue is that it dries fast and it dries clear. Okay, let's see if we can get our fourth one on there. that and I'm making sure that the seam is facing down on here because I want everything to look smooth. And I'm trying to line these up as best as possible just like this making sure that everything comes together on the bottom there. So you see how it looks like a fan and I'm just going to be adding one more once we get it on the card base. So I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to start putting our card together. Okay, so now we're ready to add this onto the card base. 
just like that. All right, so what I did was I lined this up first just to put it this way and this way. So your card is going to open up like that. So you want to make sure that you have this lined up here. Just right there. And then you're going to add one more onto this, like that. But I want to get this one down first and then add that last one on there. And I'm not going to worry about this right here, that little space. Don't worry about that. We're going to cover that up and add this one on like that. Now, if you feel like you don't have enough room on here, you could always squeeze this together just a little bit to make it a little bit more slender so that it'll fit just like this right in that corner. No, no worries, just plain and simple, easy. Okay, so let's go ahead and glue this down. So remember the seams are on this side so they won't be showing. And I'm going to use a pretty good amount of glue on this. I'm going to just put this right here. And if you hear that noise, that's just my doggy in here with me in my craft room. Okay, so I'm just going to hold this on there just a little bit. And now we can slip this one right in here too. Just like that. And guess what? I'm going to put some right on the side here, too, because I want that to really cling to this one here. So we're going to just put that right in there. So that gives it that really pretty cone on there, and we're going to let this dry for a little bit. And now our card is starting to come together. Okay, so once this is secure on here, you see how that looks? Now we can actually cut. So we're going to just take a larger scissor here, and right from that corner there, I'm going to just cut right along this area, leaving that little bit of a white space there. And you don't have to use a white card base. It doesn't have to be white. It can be whatever color you want. Just have fun with it. And so now we've got that part of our card that we're going to use to attach our flowers. Okay, so we want to go ahead and attach our flowers. And these flowers are from my Mindless Crafting stamp set. And I will put the link to where you can get it. This is the flower right here. Um, and I used a technique to make them nice and dimensional and I will post that video as well so you can see the tutorial in case you want to try this technique it's super easy so I'm going to put a green flower right there and then I'm just going to kind of alternate it make sure you can see this so just right along here, somewhat close together, to fill in that space. Let's see? So if you want to do it that way, or you can just take some glue, add it on there, and then add it right here. I kind of want those to overlap just a little bit. Look how adorable that looks. It's really starting to come together. So imagine the different color combinations you can do with this. It's just so pretty. And so this was perfect when I wanted to make my sister's uh, card 
for her birthday. This was pretty. So you can use this for all different occasions. I'm going to move that over just a little bit. Because I do want to fit another one right in there. Right there. And then end with a pink one here. So I cut out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten flowers. But depending on how you overlap with these, you may not need. I think I did one that had only nine flowers on it. Look how gorgeous that looks. You see how that's coming together now? Okay, so on the other part here, right here. I just cut a corner just to put that right there, just a little corner. So that kind of covers it up and gives it that kind of fan look. Um, I think they called it an umbrella card and it had a little hook coming out there. So I'll post that video so you can see it. That way you can pick and choose how you want to do yours. So now you've got your little corner right there. Let that dry for a little bit. And I am going to add, I could add a green flower. I really like how this looks right here. So we got to let that dry a little bit more longer. And then I'm going to add that flower right on the corner there. Okay, so I put the flower in the corner here. And so now you can go and decorate the inside of this if you want. And so what I did was I just cut some other paper that was the shape of this. And I could put this in here like that. Let's see, right there. Cover up that part there. I put my message in here. You can do just about anything you want with that inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue in here and stick that right in there. I think this will be a great card for like the spring season as well, but I would love this kind of card any year, any time of year. Okay, you could also do the back. Pretty simple and easy. Just like that. And then cut it just a little bit larger. You can always go back and cut that down just a little bit. Let's see. Take that and put it like right there. So you can do the back. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. I like that finished look. And I basically just traced it. That's all I did. You see what that looks like? And like that. Now we can add some leaves in. And those leaves are from um, the same stamp set as well. So we're just going to add some glue in here, cover up some of these white spaces, and stick the leaves in here. Let me just show you a couple of these. Just kind of stick them in there wherever you want. And in case you're wondering, I used my Tumbo markers to color these in. Just stick those right in there wherever you want. So I like to have the, the flowers on first before I put the leaves on. That way I can kind of line them up where I want.
And to give it that shine, I also use uh, my stickles. I use the Ranger Diamond Stickles to get that shine on those. Okay, so it's all coming together here. I'm putting two and then I'm putting one. Two leaves and then one leaf. Kind of making a pattern. And I might put more in there. We'll see. Sticking those leaves in there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Okay, so all of the leaves are on there. And look how pretty that looks, just framing. Just adds another dimension to it. So that's what we got so far. So pretty. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these gems. These are the Dollar Tree sticker gems. And I am going to just put a few, like right around the edge of this, just to add a little bit of bling to it. I'm just pulling it off just like that. If you want to use uh, some glue to secure it, you can. Let's see if I have enough to go around here. I sure do. Put a little bit in here, so that looks really pretty with that pink on top of the green. Just like that. And I'm just framing just around the edge. So you can do this with any of your little gems that you have sitting around, but these are just the Dollar Tree gems. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and show you what it looks like. Okay, so let me give you another look at this. I just added some more um, of the leaves to the pink here just to kind of offset it, make it look really cute. This is how it stands up. And so you can just kind of see how that goes. Now I did it with the five, but you can do four and you'll see it in that video that I post below as well. So you just have to find whatever style you like. Now another thing I did was I just put some of those extra leaves that I had in here. And you can take, uh, you can make a pocket in here also. Let me just show you what I would do if I would make a pocket. I would just kind of freehand cut this part off right, right here, kind of going in that same direction. And then you can put like a little pocket in there. So let me just show you that way. You can put a gift card in there. So you glue it here and here. since this is going to be a birthday card for my daughter, I thought it would be nice to put a gift card in here for her. So that way I have this pocket, add the gift card in here, got to let this dry real good. And so that's another thing that you can do. There's so many things you can do with this. Um, let me show you the other one that I did. So this is the third one that I've done so far. So I hope I've given you enough clear instructions so that you can get started and be inspired because I know I was. Here's the second one that I did. Look how cute this is. With the flower in the corner in the yellow, pink and yellow. So you can do so many things and you see this tool sticking out? That's a tag. And this is just thinking of you and that's a tag in there. And I did some stitching like right around here. And then I just put my initials, Handmade with Love, and my initials on it. Nothing fancy, but the card is super look fancy looking. So aren't these adorable? Two different colors. 
just use your imagination. Come up with whatever color combinations you want to use, but I think whoever receives this is going to love this. So I hope you like this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. I will see you real soon, and don't forget to check in the description for the uh, measurements and the stamp sets. See you real soon. Bye.